What is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. I've been talking about doing a skin focused series for a while now. This series would cover everything from skincare to foundation, primer, concealers, basically anything that goes into creating a flawless base. And so for today's video, it's going to be a part of that series and we're going to be covering the Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer because it's so highly hyped right now. It is a little bit or not a little bit, it is a lot of bit on the pricey side. I think it retails for around $50. When it comes to primers, I think they can make or break your makeup. If worn or paired with the wrong foundation, it can crumble off your face, it can separate later in the day. Um, it can also really enhance the wear of your makeup. So I thought for today we would do a wear test, really put it to the test, see how it wears. I'm gonna do my makeup the same as I always do it. Um, the only thing different is gonna be my primer. So before we actually apply this and do the wear test, um, I'm gonna read a little bit about the primer itself because I found it really interesting. Um, there's a lot that goes into this product. It retails for $52 and you get 0.7 ounces. So it is very much on the pricey side. It looks like it's good for all skin types because it says a normal oily combination dry sensitive. What is it? It is a velvety priming balm of pressed silk that smooths and makes makeup last longer while keeping it out of skin. Skin protecting, makeup perfecting primer is for face, eyes, and lips. Did not know that, I thought it was just for the face. Silk powder makes makeup glide on more evenly and last longer, minimizing excess shine with a soft finish. A protective layer derived from botanicals acts as a barrier between makeup and skin, helping to prevent clogged pores that can lead to breakouts. It's non-comedogenic, non-irritating, non-sensitizing, dermatologist says it's cruelty-free, formulated without synthetic fragrances, mineral oil, sulfate, detergents. I feel like one of those medicine commercials at the end where they kind of just ramble everything really quickly, so in case they say anything bad, you're not like, huh? <laughs> this part's really cool. I didn't know this about Tatcha. It says, Beauty that gives back. Every Tatcha purchase you make supports girls' education around the world. Tatcha is proud to partner with Room to Read to transform girls' futures. So even though it is on the pricey side, every purchase goes to a good cause and I'm always down for that. So let's just put it on my face. Let's give it a try. And it comes in this disc right here. I think this is a very unique packaging for a primer or it kind of reminds me of the Tarte one. I don't know if they carry it anymore. It came in a little tub and it was pretty thick just like the Tatcha one kind of like a solid. The primer does come with this little disc to scoop out the primer so you don't have to dip your dirty, grimy little fingers into it. You can just scoop it with the disc and apply it to the skin. So I'm just gonna go ahead, I'm gonna take this amount, which I think is honestly a little too much, and I'm gonna apply it starting from the center of the face and blending it outwards. But yeah, it kind of reminds me of the, the Tarte one except for the fact that this feels a lot smoother. The Tarte one had a really thick consistency to it where I could tell it was gonna affect the way my foundation applied to my skin. I could just tell it was gonna give it more of like that thicker look. I don't know, not like a very skin-like finish. Uh, so I never really got into that primer. I used it a couple of times, but it didn't stick with it. This one feels a little more silky, a lot thinner. It definitely gives your skin a really smooth effect. I do feel like it has to contain some sort of silicone or dimethicone. Dimethicone is silicone uh, because it has such a smooth texture, but it says that the primary ingredient is silk. See, it's leaving kind of like a white cast, but I'm gonna continue to blend it out. I'm gonna apply it to my eyelids and underneath my eyes as well as an eyeshadow primer since it says you can use it on the eyes. I'm not gonna apply it to my lips because I don't think I would use something with this sort of texture on the lips. It might actually work with a liquid lipstick, but I don't know. It has a slight smell, not one that's too synthetic or floral. It kind of just smells, I don't know how to explain it. It doesn't smell bad though. And my skin feels really nice, really silky, has a little bit of a tackiness to it, but not too sticky. And I feel like it did make my, my face a little paler, but definitely kind of evened out my skin tone. I don't know, it feels really smooth, so. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and do my makeup the way I normally do it. And I'm gonna be using a foundation that I know wears really well and that I like wearing for a long period of time. I'm gonna be using the YSL All Hours Foundation, shade BD40. I'm gonna apply it with a paddle brush and then blend it out with my BD blender. So far so good, everything looks really nice. It doesn't look like I have a lot of makeup on. Um, again, usually with really thick primers like that, I feel like when I apply my foundation, it just looks like the foundation is sitting on top and it gives it a really thick sort of look. This still looks really natural, really um, clean and even, and 
I like it. I like it so far. Everything looks good. So I'm going to go ahead and apply my concealer next. I'm going to be using Tarte's Shape Tape. Um, this one never creases on me, so that's why I wanted to use this one today to really put this primer to the test since I did apply it to the eye area as a primer. So I'm mixing the shades Light Sand and Light Medium together and applying it to the center of the face. Okay, and then to set everything, I'm just going to be using my Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. And then with my sponge, I'm just going to further blend in that powder on the lids and underneath my eyes to further prevent creasing. I do feel like my skin looks a little more flawless and smooth and airbrushed, kind of. It kind of looks like it's been airbrushed. I don't know. I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of my makeup off camera, and then I'm going to come back in just to check in with you guys before I continue on with the wear test. I'm going to zoom you guys in to get a better close-up look at my skin. I still think it looks like skin. It looks really smooth, really flawless. In comparison to other primers that are similar to this where they have that really thick consistency, I feel like those primers always make it look or feel like I have a lot of makeup on. And when I look at my skin up close, it just looks really heavy. But with this one, it doesn't. I feel like it blended in with my skin really well. It looks really beautiful and fresh. I'm going to continue wearing this makeup throughout the rest of the day to do the wear test. It is currently 3.21 p.m. The later it gets, the worse I am at filming. So normal, normally 9 o'clock is my cutoff, but I'm going to try and extend it past 9. Um, we'll see, but um, regardless... This is what I'm going to be wearing all day. I will check in with you guys a little bit later. All right, guys, I am back. It is currently 10.03 p.m. This is my limit. I got to go to bed. Kyle's just getting back from walking Mika. We have a visitor. <laughs> it looks like I have a tail. <laughs> hey, what are you doing? What are you Okay, I'm going to try and wrap up this video because Mika clearly wants to go to bed. I've been wearing this foundation for around 7 hours now and as you guys can clearly see, some oil has broken through on my T-zone. That is normal. I wasn't expecting to be completely matte. I feel like even with mattifying primers, I still eventually get oily in the T-zone. But my foundation hasn't been slipping or sliding around my face. It has stayed pretty put and looks exactly like how it did when I first applied it, aside obviously from the oil in the center of my face. Um, so overall, what are my final thoughts on the Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer? I will say it is definitely different than the other heavy silicone type primers. It just feels a lot smoother, a lot... This is a weird word to use, but I feel like it feels healthier on the skin. It just, I don't know, the way it glides on, it doesn't feel like it's clogging my pores. And I feel like it almost helped spread out my foundation because it leaves such a nice smooth finish on the skin. It doesn't do the best job at controlling oil. If you're more oily than me, and I consider myself to be a normal combo, so oily T-zone, dry everywhere else. If you're super oily, this is not going to help control your oil. I think it's going to help to prolong the oil actually breaking through, but it's not going to completely mattify your skin. Um, is it worth the $52? I will say... This is one of those primers that I would only use for special occasions. I don't think I would use it daily. I feel like it's a little much. Um, for daytime wear, I keep my makeup really simple anyway. Uh, I would definitely save this for like a special event, a special occasion, maybe just like the weekends when you want that little extra oomph to your makeup and you want it to look a little more flawless. Um, I do think it is overall just really unique and a really cool product. Uh, I would definitely try it out before you purchase it to see if it's different from any of the other primers that you currently own, but I personally really do like it and I will use it for special occasions, but again, not for everyday use. So uh, that concludes my wear test and overall review of the Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. Does this interest you guys? Are you impressed by it? Um, do you just like it because... It looks cool. What are your thoughts? Let me know in the comment section below. And as always, if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a like, share it, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys. Okay, guys. We're gonna go to bed. Mika just wanted to come and say goodnight. You wanna say goodnight? She's gonna get so grumpy right now. You wanna say goodnight? Say goodnight, YouTube. Goodnight. Peace out.